Okay, guys, for our last project, it's one of my favorite stamps in the holiday catalog. If the broom fits, fits ride it. I just absolutely love it. Um, part of it is when I look at these, I think of Disney's Fantasia and the little scene with Mickey where he's dancing with the brooms and stuff, not just the saying, but Fantasia was one of our family's favorite movies. The kids absolutely loved it. So for this project, we have crumb cake. We have basic black. We have some twine, and the place, the place that the twine came from, this is our burlap ribbon, and we simply cut one of the edges off of the burlap ribbon, and then we just pulled long strings through, because I just felt like it had more of a feeling of the um, pieces of the broom, and so that's where we got our cute little bow then that we could use on the side, was from the burlap. Then we have a um, piece of black, we have a piece of vanilla. We have our crushed curry and we cut it with one and three quarter inch punch. And then you can just go back in, take a chunk out and that's what gives you your little moon. And of course it's got glitter. To stamp this image right now it doesn't look like it layers onto this card for a reason. A couple of tips for your bigger stamps. I like to stamp some of your larger stamps rubber side up and I like to teach my customers that because they can see that they're inking them and they're, they're not bouncing a, a bigger pad. And then also when I'm running large events, I like to stop from time to time and wash it in between time if it's set out at a station because ink will build up in between and then some of your customers will get those lines. Now with this one, I am gonna leave it rubber side up. I'm gonna lay this down on. A great sell to your customers that we don't always pay attention to is our 11 by 17 paper. And I can just roll that over and um, kind of press on that and then I have my my image here and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut straight across or you can use your trimmer and now I have my image that's going to fit down on my card and of course I didn't stamp it as well as I could and then this will go onto here for this one we added the wood grain background to it I sandwiched the moon in between and does hide the brooms just a little bit but it's just showing them that you can cut them off and of course You've got the cute little brooms. Maybe you know somebody that own, owns a maid service, so just the brooms alone would be fun little thank you cards for them, um, for their customers, for, you know, something or whatever. So if you could think of other ways to use the brooms, I would love to hear it, because, again, I'm all about alternative ideas and things like that. So thanks for sticking in through all of the videos tonight. I hope you picked up some great business tips for using the products for the holiday catalog. I hope that your brains are spinning a little bit with ideas for reaching new customers. And I hope that you were just inspired to craft and create and um, invest in some of the product. Invest in your um, creativity and your desire to create beautiful things. Thanks, guys, for being a part of the virtual training tonight. God bless.